Before we go into the next thing, let's take them again together. Let's go. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. That was a very good one. Very good. I love that. All right. The next thing there is the next line on the X axis. And that 11 in French is ons. Let me just take it from the beginning to the end of uh, to 20 first before we go. Now, we have 11 as a ons, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, take it again. Ons, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay? That's what you expect to learn now. And so what is ons? The ons is your 11. Ons is 11. Please, your pronunciation is ons. If I were you, what I'm hearing as an English, uh, as an Anglophone person, I'm hearing U, N, Z in my pronunciation. And the moment I hear U, N, Z, I'll simply say ons. That's what I'm hearing. Although the Frenchman write that as a O N Z E. That is what? Ons. That is a ons. The next thing there is do's. Do's is a 12. And do's, as an Anglophone man, I am hearing do's as D U Z. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. That's the sound I'm hearing. But the Frenchman will tell you, and that is how it is, universally, all over the world. Do's is D O U Z E. That is a do's. And how do you spell it in French? Because we have learned the French alphabet before, so we need to use them side by side. And so do's in French is spelled D. O U Z E. That is how do's is spelled. And do's there is a, the 12, number 12. Okay, next is 13, 13, 13, 13. Let me use it 13, 13. I didn't say 13, but I said 13, 13, 13. And what is 13? 13 is a 13. 13 in French is a 13. How do you spell it? Can I spell it in French? Okay, I guess somebody say yes. Okay, let's go. T R E I Z E. And somebody said me is confused. She's confused. Don't worry, we'll go back to English. T R E I Z E. That is trays. Now, from my, uh, my my pronunciation there, for the Frenchman's pronunciation, I am hearing T R Z. And if I do T R Z, in my mind, I will have trays. Trays. T R E Z is what I'm hearing. But the Frenchman, of course, which is internationally or worldwide, universally accepted to him, to the French language, is a T R E I Z E. And that is 13. And 13 is 13. 13 is 13. The next is 14. There's another letter. Another figure that people, uh, I mean, they, they, they will say quarters, quarters. Please, it's not quart, it's ca, it's ca, quarters. Let me say quarters, 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 quarters is your 14. And how do you spell quarters in French? French is spell quarters as a Q, Q, U, A. T O R Z E. 
Somebody was telling me to spell in English again. I'll do. Don't be. Uh, don't. Don't worry yourself. I'll do that. I'll always do that. And so I hope you've written down there. I am saying the Kator's is spelled Q U A T O R Z E. That is a Kator's. And what is Kator's? Kator's is a fourteen. One and four. One and four is your Kator's. So what is one and four, which is fourteen in French? Quatorze. Let me say quatorze. Encore. Quatorze. Again. Quatorze. Répétez encore. Quatorze. Encore. Quatorze. That's a good one. Very, very good one. And so the next is Keynes. Keynes. And what is Keynes? Keynes is your 15. Keynes is 15. Now, how do you spell Keynes? Keynes is spelled. Q U E N Z E. All there is any with Z E Z E. Of course, that's a Z. The last E is not pronounced. Of course, you should take note again. Last E is not pronounced. Nobody should try try to say Kenza, Duza, Onza, Dude. No, no, no. You don't go that way. You only end your pronunciation in the Z. So, 15 in French is Keynes. Keynes. Keynes is spelled Q U I N Z E. That is Keynes. And I only remind you that if I were to be uh, a student there seated, I would hear and I want to write Keynes. In my picture mind, in my system, I am hearing Keynes, and if I'm to write Keynes, I am seeing K-E-N-Z. That's what I'm seeing inside me, of course. That is how it is supposed to be pronounced. And so, if you hear it, try to see as you'll be able to pronounce it, if you write it or transcribe it to how you'll be able to pronounce it. Of course, if I were to be you, I'll look at it and pronounce Keynes and write Keynes inside. Please don't write Keynes down. It's not the correct 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 uh, uh, autograph, please. The correct autograph is Q U I N Z E. That's a Keynes. Of course, as an English speaking person, like I used to tell you, what I'm hearing is K E N Z. That's what I'm hearing. But of course, that is what I'm supposed to have in my mental man. In my mental picture, that's what that's the sound I'm hearing. But that is not the way it's written. I've shown you how it's written. Please, I'm just telling you the pronunciation because if I don't, you will be you'll be you'll be forced to pronounce this as quens, which is not the correct pronunciation of that uh, letter 15, which is cans. Okay. So proceed to the next. The next letter is the says. Says, says, says. And what it says? Says is 16. How do you spell says? Says is spelled S E I Z E. I take it again. S E I Z E. I take it again. S E I Z E. I'm sure you must have written it down there. And so that is Keynes. That is a says, Pluto. Beg your pardon. That is says. And what it says? Says is 16. In my mental picture, again, what I'm hearing is says. And that says could be written as S. E Z. That's what I'm hearing. As an Anglophone person. That's what I'm hearing. You know, says. Although that is not the way to write it, I'll keep telling you. So like you don't you don't uh, misquote us here. Yeah? Uh, French 101 believe in professionalism. We believe in uh, ex exceptionally good job. You know, so we are telling you that because of our professionalism. 
However, our says, of course, as I told you, is spelled S E I Z E. In French, how do you spell it? It's spelled S E E Z E. That's how you spell your says. Now, I want to tell you something at this point as I go to 17. Now, I told you that the French numbers, understanding them is just behind your x-axis and your y-axis. The reason why I told you that is because from 17, whatever we have learned now will begin to repeat itself. Whatever we have learned so far from 1 to 15 here now will begin to show itself again. So it is there that you understand that if you're able to get 1 to 10 and 15, 11 to where we are now, you see that from this point down, that is 17 down, to 100, to whatever number you want to, it's going to be repeating of or repetition of what you learned so far. Is that not easy? Very easy. And for, to prove us very, very sure of what we're talking about, I tell you, hey, look at your 17. We've known before this time that our 10 is what? This. Now, our 7 is set. So, for us to get 17, you take 10, you put it together with set, although with an hyphen. You put these two together, 10 and 7. What is 10 again? This. Somebody saying this there. And then, what is set again? 7 again. 7 is a set. This and set. You bring them together. And then you have what? This set. And what is this set? This set is a 17. Is that not wonderful? Very wonderful and very easy. Of course, if I'm to uh, spell this from the mental picture of the sound I am I'm hearing, I say D set. D set. Meaning D, I, then set together there, a set of something. It could be a set of anything. Join it together there, you have D set. Very wonderful. <laughs> I can see that somebody is just laughing over it and excited. I can see right in my class here. So that is how these numbers excite. Of course, the same thing is applied to 18. So you now write down 18 for me there. How do you write 18? Of course, I see somebody writing it there. You take 10, you take 8, you put them together, you match them. In between, there is an iPhone. You put the iPhone there, and then that is your what? This week. Now, I take it again. I just explained to you that the French numbers are easy because from 17, you have started repeating everything you have learned before. Please, even if you just blink your eye, you may not get this explanation. So do not blink your eye as you listen to me. This is the area the logic is embedded, hiding. The moment you're able to get this logic, the French numbers become very easy, I tell you. Now, for us to get 17, you have learned this before, and we told you that this is 10. Am I right? Okay. 10 is this. You take 7. What is 7? Our 7, like you have written down there, is S-E-P-T. And that is 7. So this and 7. In between there is an iPhone. You put these two letters or these two words together, you have what you call this set. This and that is 10 and 7. That is the winning. 10, 7. What is 10? This. What is set? Seven. So you put these two words together, you have this set. And this set there is 17. I can see somebody say, wow. Yeah, this is a wow class. Wow class. Very, very big wow class here. And what I've just told you, that, and what you've just done there, which is picking this, the this and the set together to give you 17, you're going to pick like that to 18, you're going to pick like that to 19. So I see somebody picking this and picking wits, which to give us what? These wits. You pick this, you pick wit, you bring them together, separated by an iPhone, and then you get what? These wit. What is that? These wit. These wit. 
and this wheat is your 18. Please, this is where you pick to 19. And what is 19 then? Somebody is picking it. Take 10, take 9, and what is 10? This, and then 9. Put them together, separating them by an iPhone, just one small iPhone, you have this nerve. This and the nerve. And that gives you what? 19. 19 is this nerve. And then you have the. The. You have what? The. Please, for 20, you don't pick again. Of course, 20 is going to be useful again, but you don't pick. 20 is what? The. Spell V I N G T. Please do not say vent. V I N G T. That is what? The. When you are pronouncing the, your mouth will open. The. And does not close again. The. You don't go vent. No. You go the. Let me say the. Again. Again. The. Again. The. Again. The. Again. The. Again. The. The. And the. And the is a. 20. That was a very good one. Please applaud it. Say, clap for yourself. You are so wonderful student with me right in this class. Please, in case you have anything that is a problem, please just look at what I've explained and then you're going to get it. You're going to get it. And then what next is coming again? We're going to attack our Y axis. I'm sure you have understood our X axis and our Y axis we're going to attack now. The moment to finish the Y axis, Put it together with the y, the x-axis, you see we're going to flow, 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 and flow. And so if you look at your book there, what we have done there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 1 to 20. Is that not easy? Very, very easy. Very easy. So that is our X axis. Now our Y axis is the next thing we're going to attack. Uh, is our Y axis red? Our y axis, of course, I'm talking about the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, down to 100. That is what I call our y axis. I'm taking my time to give you this because the moment you are able to pass through this process, of course, everything about numbers, very easy. Very, very easy. Anything that you call numbers become so easy. Any number that you are given, either in school, as a student, as a businessman, you have to use numbers to do your business, transact your business. Are you a pastor? You are going to use your numbers to cut your Bible because you meant to say Genesis chapter, there's a number there. Verse, there's another number there. We're going to treat all that. We're going to show you all that, that are how to go about that. And so numbers are very important. Anywhere at all you go, anywhere all over the world, numbers are very important. And so that is that. And so our Y axis now. How is our Y axis looking like? All right, y axis was then from 10, 20, 30 down to 100. So, what is 10? Of course, before this time, we have known what is 10. Can I ask a question? What is 10 there? What is 10 there? And I hear somebody say 10 is Dix. Not Dix, please, is this. Let me hear you say this. 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 That is 10. And then our own 20 there, of course, you've been here, you have heard, heard of that before. Our 20 is the. 20 is a the. I didn't say vent, I say the. I told you before this time that the is spelled V I N G T. You may, be, you may be mistaken it to be vent. Please don't say vent. If you say vent, you have destroyed the pronunciation of that sound, that word there. The pronunciation of that word is vin. Let me say vin. Vin. Encore. Vin. Encore. Vin. Encore. Vin. Plus louder. 
the okay the is your 20 okay the next thing is 30 30 in french is 30 is what 30 30 is correct 30 is that your pronunciation is coming from inside there or it's coming from the front of your mouth you see the same thing but i tell you sometime when the french people begin to make their, their, their pronunciation from inside the gullet will get confused that's why i'm trying to take my time to tell you all this i'm telling you and so 30 30 is the pronunciation of uh, 30. then the next thing there is current 40 current is spelled q u that is, that is, as you can see, it's coming from quatre. We spell quatre and we tell the quatre is a Q, U, A, T, R, E. It is borrowed from that lineage to give you current. And a current is spelled Q, U, A, R, R, E, a N N T T E E Okay, that's how current is spelled. I take it once more again. Q U A R A N C A that is a current and what is current? Current is forty. I'm sure you are taking note there. I'm sure you are taking note. Bravo, that's a good one. And so the next it's fifty. And what is fifty? Fifty is second. Now look at the repetition I told you now. If this second, second borrowed everything about five. Look at second. The first four figures there, or first four letters there, is five, you see there. And what is five in French? Cinq. Am I right? You have the C, I, N, Q. Okay. That is five first. Then they go can't. It's not quant, please. Please, please, please. French 101 is telling you that it's not quant is can't pretend as if you are not seeing the q there or the u there please every members every uh, this family members every members of this uh, french 101 family please understand that our 50 is not saying quant but is known as saying can't saying can't if i were to be you i would have in my picture mind in my system the pronunciation as C, I mean it's S, E, N, K, A, N, C. That's what I have there. Sang can't. Sang can't. Let me hear you say. Sang can't. Sang can't. Sang can't. And sang can't means uh, 50. Please, we're going to visit all this again, so take note. Take my time to explain because we're going to use, I told you, it is a combination of this y-axis and the x-axis that the logic about numbers are hidden. And so I'm trying to take my time to unveil it to you so that by the time we will just go 21, 22, you will see that it becomes very easy. And so the next thing is uh, 60. And what is 60? 60 is soixante. I also hear some people say soixante. Please, it's not soixante. It's soixante. Soixante. Repeat après moi. Soixante. Repeat après moi. Soixante. Encore. Soixante. Encore. Soixante. 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 Huh? Please, the last E is not pronounced. The moment you say soixante. You are trying to drag yourself into another language like Spanish or Italian. So the E is not pronounced. That E only permits you to pronounce the last consonant, which is a T there. So, 
so a sand. In other words, we're going to talk that, you know, subsequently, when letter E of vowel E is at the end after a consonant, it just tells you that, look, the last consonant that is behind me is to be pronounced. That's why it's there. The E itself is not pronounced. So anytime you see any E, as far as this, that thing is E, in front, it passes, at the moment you pass the consonant and you have E there. The E tells you that, look, this consonant behind me should be what? Pronounced. That is how you pronounce. We are going to get to that lesson and we'll get to what to call adjective calificative. But for now, I just a reference I am just making. Okay, so our 60 in French is what? Soissant. Is what? Soissant. Is it? Soissant. Is it? Soissant. 60 is a Soissant. That's a good one. Because I am happy when my students are following me. They are following me here. I'm, I'm having some students following me here. And so uh, I'm happy because I am, I, I am happy they are following me. And so the next thing there is uh, 70. Oh my God. Somebody bear witness here. <laughs> you know, when, when I take this, I am excited because there is an evidence of what I have just said before. Now look at 70. 70 is borrowed 60, which is Swasant, then borrowed 10. Can yeah, somebody here, come on, somebody should hear me there. Somebody should hear me there. 70 is taking 60 and taking 10. Of course, 60 plus 10 is what? 70. So that, that's the name. The name to 70 is a 60, 10. So what is 60 and what is 10? So 60, 10 in French is a Swasant this. Let me say Swasant this. Oh, somebody's excited about that there. And I'm also happy that you are grabbing what I'm talking about. And that's the reason why I told you from 16, from 17, these things that keep repeating themselves until infinity. Until infinity. I tell you, until infinity. And the repetition is between your X axis and your Y axis. You'll be very happy when you begin to master these things, to get in this logic. You don't need to read, read, read from 1 to 100 to understand. Just get this logic here. Any number become very easy. Of course, I will test on you as soon as I finish.